All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here with a quick breakdown and recap of what happened at tonight's Elimination Chamber event. Um, a good ending to the show that took place. However, still disappointing show regardless of um, how good the ending to that event was. Um, so let's get into it. On the kickoff show, they had a fatal four-way to determine... Let me take this off real fast. Um, to determine who was going to replace Keith Lee in the triple threat match for the United States title. Of course, Keith Lee was pulled from the event uh, due to injury. Um, so they had a fatal four-way on the kickoff show. It was Ricochet, Elias, John Morrison and Mustafa Ali um, all battling to find out who would replace Keith Lee in that United States title triple threat match with the defending champion Lashley and Riddle. And it was John Morrison picking up the win, pinning Mustafa Ali um, to win that one. So that was it for that. Um... So we had the Universal Title number well, what I put down as the Universal Championship number one contenders elimination chamber match. Starting off the show first, it was Daniel Bryan, Cesaro, Jay Uso, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and King Corbin, and Daniel Bryan uh, won the opportunity. Sorry about that. To face Roman Reigns for the Universal title immediately after the match. Here is how the eliminations went down. It started off with Cesaro and Daniel Bryan as the first two. Then King Corbin was the first one eliminated. He was eliminated by Cesaro via submission. Sami Zayn would be eliminated next by Kevin Owens. Then Kevin Owens would be eliminated by Jey Uso. Uh, Jey Uso would also eliminate Cesaro, who was the fourth one eliminated. And then Jey Uso was eliminated by the eventual winner, Daniel Bryan. Then, after that match, Roman Reigns came out, and we had the Universal title match. Roman Reigns defending against Daniel Bryan. Roman defeated Daniel Bryan with the guillotine. And that was pretty much it for that. And then after that one, well, I shouldn't say that was pretty much it. Then after the match, while Roman was celebrating, he turns around and Edge spears him. And thus, we now have one match that we already knew was going to be booked for WrestleMania. Edge versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania in um, April. On, and it's going to be a two-night event, April 10th and 11th. So that is one of the huge matches Signed now officially for WrestleMania, Roman Reigns defending against Edge. Then in the third match of the night, Riddle, jo uh, Riddle, John Morrison, and Bobby Lashley uh, competed for the United States title. And Riddle picking up the win, pinning John Morrison to win the championship, to win the United States championship, his first title in WWE. So big congratulations to Riddle for winning. He won with the bro Derek after uh, Lashley locked in the hurt, um, the hurt lock, which is the um, the full Nelson um, on John Morrison and MVP, who was at ringside on a crutch because of an injury he sustained this past Monday night on Raw. John Morrison took the uh, the crutch away from MVP was going to use it on Lashley, but Lashley got Morrison in the in the uh, hurt lock. Then Riddle, who was knocked out of the ring before that, he grabbed, he saw the crutch, he grabbed it, hit Lashley twice with it, knocking Lashley out of the ring, and then hit the bro Derek on John Morrison to pick up the win and become the new United States champion. Uh, we had Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax uh, defeating Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair to retain their women's tag team titles um, because of Reginald, who um, near the end of the match came out uh, with, with a champagne bottle and a glass. He 
tossed uh or he he rolled the champagne bottle into the ring to Sasha and told her to use it. But Sasha's like, what, what am I going to use this for? What am I going to use it? I'm not going to use this. The referee grabbed the champagne bottle out of Sasha's hand, and that allowed Nia Jax to hit the Samoan drop on Sasha to pick up the win. Um, I don't under, I don't understand what this what the story is with, with this whole storyline with Reginald wanting to help Sasha out and all that stuff. I really don't know where they're going with that. Um, then... We had the WWE title Elimination Chamber match. Uh, before this matchup, however, they kind of spoiled what was going to happen with the with the ending of this show because they had MVP meeting with Miz backstage. And, and I'm thinking, watching this, okay, somehow some MVP is going to either is going to have Lashley or someone from the Hurt Business come out, and that's going to allow Miz to cash in. On whoever wins the cha uh, the chamber match, but in the elimination chamber match for the WWE Championship, we had Drew McIntyre defending against Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, AJ Styles, and Sheamus, who, with his victory on Raw this past Monday night in the Gauntlet match, d uh, was able to enter the chamber last. Uh, this one started off with Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton, then. Drew McIntyre was the third, followed by Kofi, uh, followed by AJ Styles. Um, here was the order of eliminations. Uh, Randy Orton was eliminated first by Kofi Kingston. He would be followed up by Kofi, who would be eliminated by Sheamus. Then uh, Jeff Hardy would be eliminated by Drew McIntyre. Sheamus would be eliminated by AJ Styles. And then AJ Styles would be eliminated by Drew McIntyre. Then afterwards, when Drew was celebrating, Lashley came in and uh, started beating him down, uh, taking him out. And then here comes Miz with a referee. Miz cashing in money in the bank. And with one skull-crushing finale later, we have a new... WWE Champion in The Miz for the second time in his career. So a big congratulations to Miz for successfully cashing in Money in the Bank and becoming the new WWE Champion. A pretty good ending to an otherwise disappointing show, disappointing event. Um, I mean, there was really nothing that stood out. I'm sorry, guys, but there was really nothing that stood out on this show other than Miz cashing in, which kind of got ruined by them having MVP meeting with Miz backstage. And it was like, okay, something's going to happen with that. So that kind of took a little bit away from it, but otherwise it was a good ending for Miz to win. So... Um, that's pretty much it for, for this, uh, recap. Um, uh, like I said, a very disappointing event. Uh, for those of you that watched the show, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. This has been my WWE Elimination Chamber 2021 recap. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.